Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video we're going to reset the BIOS password for this Dell Optiplex 3040. I have done other videos in the past about this uh, this topic, resetting the BIOS password. I have done it for a Dell Optiplex 7010 and for a Dell Optiplex 3010 and for a um, Asus motherboard. So if you want to check that, you can do it in the playlist on the top right of this screen. Now, as you can see here, we are directly, we, I have turned on this computer and you can see this message. This computer system, you have the serial number, is protected by a password authentication system. You cannot access the data on this computer without the correct password. Please type the, the system or administrator password. So as you can imagine, I don't have the password. I'm going to type in a few seconds. So what we cannot reset the password using software. We have to do it using hardware. So we are we have to do it from the motherboard itself. So for that end, I'm going to shut down the computer. We cannot do anything here. I don't even have access to the BIOS and we are going to proceed from there. Okay, so I'm going to um, shut down the computer. Well, you can see me typing the password. I, I, I really don't have access to it. And now um, we are going to proceed with that. So allow me a few seconds so I can I can change the angle of my camera. And there we are. So I'm going to take out the screws. I'm going to disconnect the power supply, of course. Uh, that's the first thing we, can, we have to do. And we are going to take out the screws. I struggle a little. This was really, really hard to take out. I don't know why. But you can see me there trying. And at the end, I was able to do it. So. Here we are. Uh, you can see this is the fan. For, uh, first of all, I'm going to get rid of any static electricity I might have in my body by touching the metallic parts of the case before doing anything else. And as you can notice, I don't, I'm not wearing any jewelry or any watch or anything like that. So this is the fan for the processor. Uh, this is the hard drive and this is the power supply. So as you can see here, the, uh, the heat sink for for the processor is taking a lot of space. All this part is taking a lot of space, okay? So it, we don't have much space here, like in other models. Yeah, I'm doing a close up. We have to look for pins to reset the password. So this is the, the one I can see without doing anything else. So it's CMCLR or CMOS uh, Clearer. So the CMOS is uh, the battery, all the, uh, no, no, it's not the battery, is, uh, So we have we can reset that, but we don't want to do that. We we don't want to lose all the configuration like the time and all that. We just want to re restart the password. So in this model, that's why I'm doing the video. In this model, the the two pins are below the hard drive. Okay, in other models are more visible, but in this one is below the hard drive. So I'm going to start doing. I have to take out the hard drive, but first on the on the right as you see me doing, I'm going to take out these clips. Otherwise, I won't be able to do anything. So it's really easy to take out, really, really easy. Uh, and then you have this kind of lock on the hard drive. So if you move it to the left, you can do it. You can take it out. Now it's free. But now the cables, the SATA cables and the power cables are connected to the motherboard. So we have to disconnect them, obviously. And the pin is under here, but of course you, you cannot see it. Uh, the, uh, you don't have the angle to see it. That's why I'm going to take out the hard drive. So I'm going to disconnect the, the orange one is for the optical drive. And this one over here, the multicolor one, the black, yellow, uh, orange, is, uh, is, for the, is the power for both the hard drive and the, the optical drive. And the blue one is for the hard drive. So as you can see, the, the SATA one is for the, for the hard drive. This one goes over here, that's the power, and the orange goes to the white SATA on the motherboard. So now that we are free of anything that might obstruct our vision, we are going to we're going to look for pins. And I see two, one on one kind of the center and one to the to the right. But the one to the right is the system one, we don't need it. The one we have to look for is something that says password clearer. I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to try to Make a close-up. I think that's all the close-up I can do, but you can see it here, password clearer. And the one next to it or, or above it, you see uh, uh, the blue jumper. So the only thing we have to do now, that's the blue jumper, yes. And the, the thing we have to do now is just take it out. 
it's really easy. You don't have to, it doesn't take much effort as you see me doing here. And it says this part goes up. So we have that reference and we're going to put it aside for a few minutes. Then the next step, what we have to do is um, a, what two pins are, these pins are, they connect two different parts of a motherboard, okay? In this case, they are connected using the jumper. Now that I have take take out the jumper, they are not connected anymore. So that ca causes like some kind of, um, there's no power between these two pins. So that causes the password to be lost, okay? So that's pretty much what we are doing. We are kind of creating a shortcut, uh, not kind of a shortcut. <laughs> A good shortcut, but that's what we are doing when we are disconnected, uh, when we are taking out the jumpers. I was going to put back the hard drive, but I don't really need it since we have to access the BIOS and I'm going to connect the power supply now. So allow me a few more seconds to adjust my camera so we can see the, the screen better. As you can see, I have turned on the computer and we have this new message. The hardware jumper is recover, is, is removed to override the system password setting. System password has been erased and password cannot be changed. Please connect the hardware jumper to perform any password changes. All right, so this message goes by very fast. And after that, we are going to be seeing this. And it's telling us hard drive, no hard drive detected and this is true because they haven't connected the hard drive so the only thing we have to do here is shut down the computer we don't have to do anything else so the process is you take out the hard, uh, the, the jumper you turn on the computer and you shut it down that's pretty much it so here we are back in the motherboard i'm going to disconnect the power supply and i'm going to press the power button as you see me doing here on the top right for about 10 seconds so we can get rid of any power that is uh, storing the cap capacitors on the motherboard. So after 10 seconds or so, uh, we can continue. So I'm going to put back the jumper. It's really easy to do. You, you see me doing that there. And I'm going to connect, connect back uh, the hard drive, the optical drive, and the power for both. So uh, you just have to do the same I did in uh, reverse order. And I forgot to mention this, <laughs> this RAM, 8, giga, 8 gigabytes DDR3. So after I put back uh, the hard drive and the optical drive, we're going to connect anything back, like the clips on the right. And that's pretty much it. Now, well, I connect my USB and all that, and I'm going to connect the power back. You are going to see the fan spinning for a few seconds, but that doesn't mean the computer is on. So it's going to stop in a few seconds. So let's go back to the monitor. And as we can see, I'm going to turn on the computer and I'm going to start pressing F12 to access the menu in order to access the BIOS. So oh, it's taken a few, few seconds. Come on, come on. So we don't see any other message like a few minutes ago. And we are in the menu. So we are here. I was pressing F12. Sometimes it's F2, but in this case it was F12. So we have to go. I, I turn off the light so you can see it better. And we have to select BIOS setup. So here we are in the classic uh, Dell BIOS menu, and we have to go, well, my, the camera is kind of vibrating. We have to go to security, admin password, and system password. So these two kind of passwords are, are a little different. The admin password, as you can see on the, on the right, is not set, it has been deleted, it's had, it has been erased. So the admin password is the one for, you can access the BIOS, but you cannot make any changes unless you have the password but you can access Windows or Linux or whatever operating system you may have. The other one, which is the system password, is the one that was configured on this computer. So as soon as you turn on the computer, you are going to be asked for a password, okay? So that's, uh, we don't have any of these now because we have reset it. Now, if I go uh, uh, to boot sequence, as you can see here, and now I can make any change that I might, might want. I'm just going to show you to take out the disk, diskette drive. I don't know why it's that there. Um, just to show you that I can do changes now, now that the password is not set. Uh, you can set the password, of course. Um, my advice is for you to do it, especially if you are in an enterprise. But even if you have it for home, it's for your personal use. It's not a bad idea to have a password on your, or for the computer, for the BIOS, or for the system itself. So that way you are more secure. Okay, but it's up to you. For this case, I'm going to leave it blank. In the other videos I made about resetting a BIOS password, I have put a new password. 
But for this one, like I mentioned, I'm, I'm just going to leave it blank. So we don't have anything, anything else to do. I just, go, I just selected exit and the computer is turning on one more time. So we see that the log, we are not going to press anything now. So we let the process continue. So it booted up to Windows and the computer is, is we, we have access to everything again. So that's what I wanted to show you today, guys. Um, uh, like I mentioned, I did this video specifically because uh, on this motherboard, on this model, on this the Optiplex, the two pins were not visible. So you have to take out the hard drive and all that so you can, um, uh, you can reset the BIOS password. Well, guys, that's what I wanted to share with you today. If you uh, have any comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell notification for future videos. Maybe this is your first time here. Feel free to look around. You might find a video that is useful to you. I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.